I need to brush my hair. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what is in my teacher backpack. We had a snow day today. It is January the 17th, Wednesday, and we got about two, maybe two inches of snow last night, and the high today was only 21. So everything is frozen, and I didn't go to work because I couldn't make it there. I live about 35 to 40 minutes from work, and so whenever we have a snow day, and the roads are covered, I cannot chance driving that far in the snow. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing so that you can see more teacher vlogs from me in the future. So the bag that I carry to school is actually a backpack. And this is the backpack that I carry. It is a men's backpack, actually. I got this backpack probably two or three months ago and I've been teaching for 13 years and I've always carried like 31 totes or other large totes handbags and they always kill my shoulder and if you are a teacher you know that you carry a lot of stuff on a daily basis I have my backpack I have my Yeti cup I have my lunchbox and my purse and it's just a lot to carry and that's not counting anything extra that I have to take into school. So I just decided that I was going to try using a backpack and so far I love it. I probably will never go back to a regular tote just because I can put the backpack on and it doesn't hurt my back or my shoulders and so that's really important to me. The backpack that I have is a Patagonia. And I told you it was a men's backpack. It's, I think it's pronounced men's Chocobuco pack. And it's the 30 liter. So this is the tag that was on the backpack. So if you are interested, I will leave a link down in the description box for this backpack. Now, I got this at Mass General. And I actually had a different color. And it was a women's backpack, but I carried it for a couple of weeks and I just decided it was too small and the color wasn't my favorite. So I took it back and I exchanged it for the men's because I think the women's was a 26 liter and the men's is bigger. So I decided to do that. I got a navy blue color. It's got like a, a lighter navy and then a darker navy on the bottom. And it says Patagonia right here. This is what the straps look like. So they're just, you know, regular backpack straps. And it does have this strap that goes across your chest. And when I had the women's backpack, I would fasten it a lot because it was higher. But with the men's, it's just really low and uncomfortable. So I don't use that very much. Plus it's not very flattering. As you can see, it's pretty full. I um, carry a lot of stuff with me on a daily basis and if you are a teacher you know that you have a ton on your plate and on your mind so to me it's really important to be organized and prepared at all times because with all the other things I have to think about I don't want to think about that I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag and then I will show you all the compartments and pockets and zippers and things that it has because it's really heavy and so I'm just gonna get everything out of it and then I'll show you guys what the backpack looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So in the main pocket here I have my purse which I just stick down in here because it's a crossbody and if I need to get out of the car and run in somewhere real quick or I need to run out to my car then I don't have to take my whole backpack and I can just grab this bag. So I'm going to show you guys what's in this bag. I got this bag at Target. It's just a small bag. It has one pocket here and one pocket on the top. They both zip. And then the strap has chain up to here. And then it's just like the same color leather as the bag. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but it's really soft. So on the side pocket here, I just keep like my license and my debit card and my target red card 
and that's it so that's really convenient it's right there i just unzip it i don't even have to take my bag off or start digging and i just keep those cards in there so they're easily accessible in this zipper i have a small pouch here that i got from 31. i've had this thing forever and for the longest time it just sat in a drawer in my bedroom because I didn't feel the need to carry it, but it's the perfect size for this little purse and it can hold all of my cards and money. So in here, it's got, you can see lots of different pockets. I have just some cards in there. I have a crayon. I have a yellow crayon because at church in my Bible, I like to highlight with yellow crayon because it doesn't bleed through the page and it doesn't leak out in my purse. I also have an ink pen in here. And then in the middle is just like some change and then some more gift cards, my checkbook. And so that goes in my other bag. I also have a bill that I need to pay. I have a scholastic book order that a student gave me the other day and I just stuck it in my purse. Um, I've got the money and everything paper clip there and I don't usually do my book orders as soon as they come in. I give my parents um, usually two weeks to decide and get the money into me and then I will place the order. So these are actually due on Friday, so I will be placing the order then. I also have some lipstick in here. This is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick from Wet n Wild. And it's in the color Rebel Rose. I also have chapstick because my lips get chapped in the winter and chapstick brand chapstick is like the best in my opinion. All the other lip balms or chapsticks that I put on seem to make my chap lips worse. So this is my favorite and Paisley has one of these in her backpack too. So when her lips get chapped, she can use it. I also have some keys. I have a bottle opener, a house key and a mailbox key and then my YMCA membership card. I don't have to have a key to, well, I have to have a key, but I don't have to use an actual key to get in my car or start my car. I just have this key fob. And so I keep this in the little pocket right down in here. If I just have my purse on me or near me or in my backpack, then my car can pick it up and then I don't have to grab my keys. This has made me super lazy because when I had a rental car or if I drive someone else's car, I'm not used to getting the keys, and so that's one thing I love about my car. Oh, and I can lock the door with this on me or near me. I also keep a single house key in my purse because I don't like carrying keys around, so I just put my single house key, I actually have two of them, in the little pocket with my key fob. I left school early yesterday because I had a doctor's appointment. And so when I left, I grabbed everything out of our purple basket, which is where my kids put all of their completed work and brought it with me. And when I went to the doctor, I actually ended up at the doctor an hour early, no, 30 minutes early because I thought my appointment was at one and it wasn't until 1.30. So I went on back out to my car and graded all of those papers. I also brought home some folders that my students keep their word work in and got all of those graded as well. So I am caught up on my grading, which is a plus in my book. So back here, I forgot to mention, I have this huge pocket that's really padded and this is where I keep my laptop and my iPad. I did not bring my iPad home yesterday because I let my sub use it for Class Dojo, but I usually stick that down in that pocket as well as my laptop and they both fit in there with the cord. Back here in this back pocket, I keep some stickers. I have some Christmas stickers that I need to put back at school and get some other stickers. I just actually bought some new stickers from Dollar Tree, so I need to put a pack of those in here. And then I have this one, which is just, you know, motivational stickers. So that's what some of the stickers look like. As you can see, I've used a, t a bunch of them but I love putting stickers on my kids' pages. I think it's cute and they like it too. I also have a Sit Spot brochure that was in here because I recently purchased Sit Spots from Amazon 
and I love them. I have a video where I got them and so I will leave that video in the description box down below if you want to go check it out. And if you have sit spots in your classroom already, let me know down in the comments how you like them and how you use them. Because right now I just have five rows of, no, four rows of five because I have 19 kids. And so I thought about maybe putting them in a circle, but if you have these, let me know how you use them in your classroom. I also have a box of markers in that pocket with the stickers. And I don't have a complete box because I don't know where they are. I think they're over there in that container. They are. I have a red one and a green one. So I'm going to put those in here. I like to use these thin markers when I grade papers because sometimes I write little messages and these just write better, smaller. I like the big ones too. I just love Crayola markers. I also have a checklist in here. I write down things that I need to do at school and then I put a little box beside them and check it when I'm done. So I just keep this in here to keep lists on and I got this at the Target dollar spot and I think it was three in a pack. So I have one in my backpack, one at school and one here. I also have two birthday cards in that pocket because my assistant's birthday was this week and I was gonna take these to school and let my team decide which one we wanna give her and sign it. So that's why these are in here. And I actually made these cards. I used to sell Stampin' Up! And I was addicted and so I made these cards. And I have a ton of cards. I have three photo boxes full of homemade cards. So I can just go through my stash and find any kind of card you could ever imagine. I did not know this was in my bag, but I have a pair of Paisley socks. Oh, I know why these are in my bag. She wore her furry boots to school one day and she put these socks on and she said that they kept coming off of her heel. And I told her that when you wear boots, you're supposed to wear tall socks. So she took her socks off and I just stuck them in my backpack. I also have a coupon book that was actually a fundraising project that my school did. So I keep that in here because it has all kinds of coupons to all kinds of places. And if I have my backpack with me, then I know I always have the coupons because I've gone out to a certain place and knew I had a coupon for it and didn't have my coupon book. So it stays in my backpack. I also have a couple of folders in here that have some information for some of my ESL students that I still need to fill out and get back to the ESL teacher that she gave me like months ago. I have a green folder in here that has some information that I got at a training that I had on January the 5th, I think. It was like a half day. I worked half a day and then the second half of the day I went to a Title I kind of training on how to work in your small groups, focusing on comprehension strategies and writing. I also have all of my students' yellow word work folders. This is what they keep their word work in. And the ones back here are the ones who are all finished. And then these kids still have work to finish in here. So I separated them just so when I get back to school, I know which students need new spelling words and which students still need to finish the work in their word work folder. I'll go ahead and show you guys what is in here since I have it out. This particular student is finished, but I've gone ahead and put a new word work packet in here. I put numbers on the folder so, so I don't have to write out their whole name and they can just find their number and then put their work back in here. This is actually word work that I purchased on Teachers Pay Teachers. I have word work bins in my classroom. If you have seen Pocket Full of Primary, she actually has a video on the word work that she does and she actually created these. So I will leave a link to that video down below in the description box so you can go check out that video. I use the word work bins that she mentions in that video during my word work for my lip block rotations. And I differentiate the words with my students. So my higher students have harder words and my lower students have easier words. And I try to pull from the second grade high frequency word list 
for all of my, you know, mid to mid to average and lower students and then for my higher students I choose more challenging words. If you're interested in seeing my word work bins then let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to film a video on those. There are five of them and they each have different word work activities. Like I said I got the idea from Pocketful of Primary but I can show you mine if you are interested so just let me know down in the comments if you want to see that and I'll be sure to film a video. Down in the big pocket with the folders to keep them separated, I had all of my papers that I brought home to grade, and I just had like a bunch of random stuff, and then I had a set of the Scholastic News that they did yesterday, and then the Needs and Wants quiz, and yeah, they're upside down. My memory just ran out, so I had to change my SD card, and that is not straight. There we go. So this is my planner and it's super thin as you can see. The layout is just the month, like the whole month. I'll show you a blank one. Well, I have to go back to summer because I have stuff in my calendar all the way up till the end of the year probably and I just cram stuff in here. So this is the layout and as you can see it's got the whole month this is my month of January and so I have the pink washi tape on the days that we are out of school and then I just write down everything that I have to remember in here. I have meetings written down, I have guidance, extra PE, an IEP meeting, a STEM lab meeting when the second semester begins, terrific kid, we have a field trip coming up, my doctor's appointment, PTO, everything. So I I have to have this with me at all times. I know a lot of people use their phone to keep up with dates and such, but I just like to write it down and then be able to just open it up and refer to it. I don't know. I got this planner at Target and funny story is I went up to the register with it. I didn't know how much it cost. I thought it was like, I don't even know, honestly. It was on the bottom shelf in a box. There were a bunch of them. I just picked this one out because I like the pattern and I like that it only had the month because some calendars have the month and then they have like the week and so they're really thick and I don't use the week. I just use the month. So I get up to the register and I went through the self check and it wouldn't ring up. It wouldn't scan. So this man came up to me and he asked me, you know, if I needed some help and I told him it wouldn't scan and he said, well, do you know how much it is? And I said, no, I have no idea. So he said, how does 99 cents sound? And I was like, score. So I got this planner for 99 cents, but that just happened to be by chance. I really don't know how much they are. And I don't really look at the planners when I go in there unless it's, you know, the beginning of the school year and I need a new planner. I also have this morning meeting book in here. I like to read through this before my morning meeting just to kind of decide what I want to do with my kids. That way I'm completely prepared because it's not something that I, you know, write lesson plans for. So I just go through here and use sticky notes to mark the things that I want to do in each section. There's a greeting section, a sharing section, a group activity section, and a morning message section. And so I just like to have this handy so if I have a minute I can just flip through here and find something that I think my kids will like to do for morning meeting. The last thing I have in the big pocket is this bag. This is actually an Eagle Creek packing cube. I have packing cubes that I use whenever I pack and this is like a long skinny one. I think it's for shoes maybe but I keep this in my backpack and it has all kinds of different things that I might need like different toiletries, so I will show you guys what's in here. I have a hairbrush in here with some hair ties around it because my hair gets all ratty at school and Paisley's hair gets all ratty at school, so I keep this in my backpack. And I like that it's small. I think I got this at Dollar Tree, maybe. I also have some Burt's Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. I keep this in my backpack because in the winter time my hands get super dry because I wash them so much and this stuff I love it I love the way it smells 
It smells like the cherry almond lotion that Jergens has, I think. With less cherry, more almond. You can kind of see what it looks like. It's just like a cream, like a like a hand cream, really. I was feeling like I needed some. And I bite my fingernails like crazy, and I, I don't know why. I just do. I've always done that. Sometimes I let them grow out, but I just like to bite my fingernails. And when I put this stuff on my hands, it keeps me from biting my fingernails. The next thing I have in that little bag are toothbrushes. One is Paisley's and one is mine. I also keep toothpaste in here because you never know when you might need to brush your teeth. This is Colgate Cavity Protection Bubble Fruit Flavor for her. And then I have a mini travel size Colgate for me. I keep some glass cleaner in my bag because I wear glasses and I like to keep them clean. I also use this on my iPad and my laptop. So this is a great thing to have. And I got this free when I got my new glasses. And I like that it's a travel size and I can just stick it in my bag. They actually told me that once this one runs out, I could go by and get another one for free. I have this Mojito Lip Balm that I got in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. This is another really good thing for chapped lips. It's almost like Aquaphor. Like a Vaseline, but not as thick and clearer. Sometimes I have kids in my class who have terrible chap lips. I mean like way up here, way down here. Or really red and they just keep licking them over and over. And I will just take a little bit of this and squirt it on their finger and have them rub it on their lips. And they just put it on their lips and then hopefully can get them throughout the day till they can get home and put some chapstick on. I also have a single cough drop in here because this is the only one I had left and I didn't want to carry the whole bag around. So I need to get some more cough drops, but I have one in there just in case I need it. I also have this little metal Altoids case that I keep Advil in because if I get a headache at school, then I can have Advil right there. Plus also some teachers sometimes need headache medicine and they don't have any. So I keep this on hand for those kinds of situations. That is everything that is in this bag. My backpack also has two side pockets here, one there and one here, and they're really stretchy, so they hold a lot. In this pocket, I have my battery charger for my camera. I just take my battery out of my camera, stick it in there, and then it just plugs straight into the wall. So this is super convenient. I can take this to work if I need to charge my battery, and I just keep this in my backpack. When my battery dies, I want to have this so I'm not stranded with my camera and a dead battery. I also have my camera strap in that pocket. I don't know why I don't use that camera strap. In this pocket, I have... This is going to be really strange to you guys. Maybe not. Two cups of applesauce. And two... Apple breakfast bars. I think I have two, yeah. And two spoons. I think. Where's the other one? Okay, here we go. And two spoons. Because I have a six year old daughter who gets hungry at random times, and it's nice to have a snack because when she gets hungry, she gets in a bad mood. And so I just have some applesauce and some oatmeal bars in here. And she loves both of these things. So when she is hungry, I just grab a snack. And they're somewhat healthy. So healthy habits, healthy eating habits. So that is everything in that pocket. In this pocket, it opens up like this. I have this little black bag that has some personal feminine products in there. I also have some wet wipes. These wipes kill 99.99% .99 of germs, and when you have a child and you work in a school, wipes are a must. In one of the smaller pockets, I have a blue pen, a mechanical pencil, an eraser, and some whiteout. And that is all the pens and pencils besides the markers that I keep in my bag. I also have a large cleaning cloth that I use to clean my electronics, my iPad. I just spray that 
glass cleaner and then use this to wipe it off and it works perfectly. I have a small pack of sticky notes and then this stuff is a lifesaver for me. It's fingertip moisturizer. It's called Sortwick and you just rub your finger on here. Well, the whole thing fell out. You just rub your finger on here and then you can flip through pages very quickly and not get paper cuts. I have my toboggan in here. I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods. It's the Marmot brand and I love this thing. I just love having it. It's really cold here lately and so anytime I go outside I just put this on. I also have these arm warmers in my backpack that a teacher, actually an assistant teacher that used to work at our school knitted for me or crocheted for me. I'm not sure but they have a thumb hole like that and I just pull them all the way up my arm and then put my coat on top of it and they're just so warm and cozy. I wash them in the washing machine and I love these for the winter time. The last thing I have in my bag is my Kate Spade glasses case. I don't have my glasses in here right now but look how cute that is. So I just keep this with me because my glasses were super expensive and I want to have this in case I need to take them off and I don't want to just lay them down somewhere. So I keep this in my backpack. I also keep this glass case in my backpack, which is my Ray-Ban case for my sunglasses, but I keep them in the car. And again, you know, if I get out of the car or whatever and have my sunglasses on and need to take them off, then I can put them in this case and keep them safe and protected. So that is everything that is in my teacher bag. Those are all of the pockets. There's this large zipper pocket here and it has some smaller pockets. There's a zipper, a, a zipper pocket here, a little mesh pocket, and then a pencil pocket. And then that big section has this. That's actually for an iPad, but with my case on it, it won't fit down in there. So I actually just put it back here. And then it has the two side pockets. Thank you guys for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the things that I keep in my teacher backpack. If you like this video, make sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos from me. And let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see. If you want to see the Word Work Bin video or any other kinds of videos, let me know and I will be sure to work on those. I do have a list of some upcoming videos so be on the lookout for those. You can follow me on Instagram at thatteacherlife2 where I post some pictures from school and different school things that are interesting to me. What's in your teacher bag? Let me know down in the comments what's in your teacher bag and if you have filmed a what's in your teacher bag video, be sure to leave it in the comments because I would love to see it. I love seeing what's in people's bags and purses and backpacks and all that good stuff. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one.